I'm going to start grouping some of these together, like 0.1.2 says if a prime P divides a product A1, A2, A3, dot, 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 A sub N of integers, then P divides at least one A sub I. In other words, if P divides a product, it divides at least one of the terms, you know, that you're multiplying. Now, uh, 0.1.3 is called the unique factorization theorem. Okay, if it has a name, it's important. If A is an integer, not zero, or plus or minus one, then A can be written as a product P1 dot 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 P sub n of primes. Two, if A equals P1 dot 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 P sub n equals Q1 dot 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 Q sub m, where the P sub i and Q sub j are prime, then n equals m, and after renumbering, P sub i is plus or minus Q sub i for all i. That's the unique factorization theorem. Okay, we allow negative primes so that, for example, negative 17 is prime. This is consistent with the general definition of prime element in an integral domain. See section 2.6.